Hey guys, it's been a minute, hasn't it? I uh, just want to welcome you back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've been on here. It's been a crazy summer. Um, it's been so hot here, like ridiculously hot. And I started filming this earlier and I just started sweating under here. I mean, I got the air on 70. I don't know why I'm so hot, but, um, and you can tell in like my hair, everything is just, this humidity kills my hair, kills everything, my makeup, everything. So the summer's been crazy. Um, we've been to Florida, we've been to Colorado. David had surgery, just craziness. And, um, and I'm lazy, I'm lazy. I'm so tired from work, getting up so early. Like the father has a new schedule, so he has to be to work, leave for work at 6.30. So I gotta leave, I gotta be up at 5.30 to leave here at six. So anyway, it's crazy, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to um, get back into this and thought maybe like if I just showed you guys like my recent favorites or my all-time favorites, um, it would ease me back into the filming thing. So it's going to be like kind of really random um, makeup and skincare and fun stuff and kitchen stuff and books and... I think that's it. So I'm just going to get into it. I'll start with the makeup and stuff. I don't have my glasses on because the window and it makes the reflection of my glasses. And I look crazier than I do normally. So anyhow, so my newest favorite thing, well, I've had it for a couple months now. And um, let me get my glasses because I'm not sure what the heck that first word is. Oh, clean it zero. Okay. And this is, um, I love the container actually. This was, I would want to say $16. And, um, it actually, it comes with this little, looks like a hockey stick, you know, and then you, um, can poke down. So you're not touching, you know, with your fingers and it's so soft. And I just put a little bit on my hands and rub it into my face and my makeup just melts off. It is, it's beautiful. And my skin, it leaves like this feeling like you've just put oil on your skin, which I love oils. And I know people are afraid of oils, but oils are very good for your skin. Even if you have oily skin, the oil will counteract the oil in your skin. That's my tip for the day. Okay, and speaking of oils, this is from Beauty Counter. And um, I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about the twins that I do take care of every once in a while. And their mother works for Beauty Counter. And one day, I was just there a couple days, like an hour for each day. I leave, I'm going to leave. She hands me this thing, makeup bag, okay? It's, there's cat hair all over it, okay? It says the truth is inside, and it's from Beauty Counter. And it was filled with products, just filled to the brim with products. And they're not cheap, but they're good. And really expensive. Like, that's something I would be able to buy, you know, every month. But anyway, this is the Lustro Face Oil. It is amazing. I absolutely love, love, love this. And this, I might have to save my money to buy it again. You don't need a lot. I mean, it really lasts a long time. Um, except for the fact I did spill some the other day when I came home. Well, I think I spilled it. It might have been one of the cats. But that's all I'm saying. And it just tore me off. I was like, no, that's the best stuff ever. So there's that. These are just two of my favorite things that she gave me. And then this is a charcoal mask. And you, it, I mean, you barely need any to make the mask. And I'm telling you, it was the softest charcoal mask I ever used. It was beautiful. It made my skin nice. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. It was so sweet of her to do that for me. She's so good to me. And, okay, so now makeup. I've been using this now for over a year. This is the Tarte. Um, it's a powder foundation. And I really love it because I don't like all that liquid stuff on my face. I just don't. To me, it's so much heavier. And this is full coverage. And you get um, this little kabuki brush to go with it. And then you just, you know, poke your brush in there and kind of push it onto your skin. I love it. And for me to stick with a product for a long time, it's really a miracle. Because I am like, I'm just flying. Oh, let me get this one. Let me get that. You know, I'm just all over the place. All over the place. So... Anyway, and then this is another one. I've hit pan on this thing, and I really want a new one. And um, I've hit more than pan. But this is a Laura Geller product, which I love Laura Geller. And this is the Balance and... Let me get it right. Balance and Bronze Foundation and Bronzer. 
Okay, so there's like a balance in Brighton. There's the, um, and then there's also, you know, in this exact package is um, blushes and stuff. I love her stuff. It's baked. Everything's made in Italy. So let me, why won't this open? <laughs> what the heck? You know, I don't know why it won't open. I think something's stuck on there or something. Oh, maybe the oil got on there. I don't know. I can't open it. But anyway, it's pretty much gone. So I'm going to get that again. And like this, I can use just for foundation. What, like, like in the summer when I don't want a heavy foundation or something, or I don't want to put that other one on. Just brush really fast with a brush, and it kind of just smooths your skin out. I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, it's crazy because I always try to get it like on sale. It's like, I think, $36 maybe normally. Maybe I'm going a little high. Maybe it's not that much. Maybe 26 I don't know. But Ulta has it on their um, 21 Days of Beauty that they do in September. And, of course, the one day that they have this on there for like $12 or $15, whatever it is, I'm going to be driving to New York to see my family. Thank you for nothing. Okay, so now this is going to look a little weird to you guys. This is a little ladybug but if you can see it okay this is called liptiful l-i-p-t-i-f-u-l hi lucia hi baby and um this is like a natural way to plump your lips and um it also kind of like tightens like your muscles and stuff around here and and it uh the more you use it like the bigger your lips will stay and um you kind of just like rub it on your lips like this and then you kind of Hold it there. And I'm telling you, it works. It's funny because I made David do a flat. <laughs> anyway, and it's a company and it's called Liptiful and they are on Etsy. And I got this for $12 because they're normally like $30 something dollars and I don't want to pay that much. But they'll have ones that are like imperfects. And basically, the only thing imperfect about this was just the paint. So who cares, right? So anyway, they have all sorts of cute things hearts and all sorts of different kinds. If you really want to know how this works, um, Candy Johnson did a video on it. And um, I'm sure you know who she is. But anyway, I really like it. I like to support companies that are family owned. It's family owned. They do this in their garage. I mean, it's insane. So sticking still with the beauty. This is from Redken. Of course, I have no top because tops disappear the minute they come in my house. I got this for, for, it just came in the mail for free. I must have signed up for it on Facebook. Had no idea I did. But I love it. It's called Windblown 05. And I don't know, I'll probably got maybe this much left, and uh, I will be repurchasing this. Repurchasing this. It's kind of like a dry shampoo, I guess, but it just really adds texture to your hair. And um, that's why I like it, because I have fine hair. So, okay, next thing for my hair. This has been a godsend, okay? It's called Bounce Curl, and this girl made this whole thing at her house. She has, like, a factory in her garage. I mean, and she's really coming with new products and stuff. Um, I think she has, like pills for your hair too she's like i'm not sure what what nationality she is but it's something that like we've been used in her family for years for their hair and stuff but anyway so uh, for their hair strength you know and length so this is light cream gel with aloe and nigella sativa or something i don't know but this is for my hair for curly haired girls and it is amazing um I want to say it was like maybe seventeen dollars. I don't know, it, not bad at all. And all you gotta do is go to Bounce Curl, and she has videos there on how to use it. Her hair's crazy beautiful, and this has it's been a game changer for my curls. It doesn't show today, but it has been a game changer. You know, curly hair just tends to be so dry. And then this is another my, one of my favorites. It's the Caress Evenly Gorgeous, and it is the um, let me get my glasses. Burnt brown sugar and curry butter, and it's exfoliating, and it's my favorite, and it smells so good, and I really love using it in the winter. It's my favorite in the winter. Now, I think, uh, okay, so this is just um, some fun stuff. I'm not going to show you everything in here, but this was just, it's one of my favorite um, subscription boxes to get, and it's called, hi, Choochie, hi, honey, and it's called Mask Maven, and then you get, and it comes in this cute little thing, and I just wanted to get a couple months of it so that I would have, like, gifts to add to people's gifts for you know christmas or birthday or whatever it's just all these sheet masks that's all it is it's just sheet mask after sheet mask after sheet mask and um you get like 10 i think and then this one has this is a different kind of mask and i don't i just think it's a really good idea really good idea and a lot of times i do get subscription boxes because i like that there's several things in there and i can spread the love around you know 
So let's see. Let's go to books. Okay. I just finished reading this book called Lady Midnight. It's a big book. Okay, so it's by Cassandra Clare, and um, it's a Shadowhunters novel. Now, I never used to read these kind of books or fantasy books or anything like this because I was always like, you know, Daniel Steele and, you know, um, Sandra Brown, who I still love, and just, you know, romantic-y kind of books, but I don't, I don't, I'm done with all that. I don't want to read that kind of stuff. I'm going to read exciting stuff. So this is, um, and she's, her name is Cassandra Clare. She is a great fantasy writer. So I read the Mortal Instruments, okay, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I love series. I love trilogies. I love it. Then the Infernal Devices, which some of these people in here are in this book. And then this was, this actually, the Infernal Devices actually happened before all this in real, in their time, but not, that's not how the books came out. And I just, the Infernal Devices was probably my favorite. And now this book. And now I just finished it, like, I don't know, 10 minutes ago before I started filming this. Da, 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 da. Peenie. Peenie's hitting the camera. Thank you, baby. And um, I loved it. And I read it on my Kindle, which is another one of my favorite things. I just didn't bring it out here, but my Kindle. I love my Kindle. So anyway, if you're into any of this kind of thing, um, I'm telling you, Cassandra Clare is the bomb. Love it. Never thought I'd read books like that, really. I never did. Another favorite thing for me is books at the Dollar Tree. Okay? So, Adriana Trigiani, I've actually met her. We've actually emailed. Um, she actually wanted to see a picture of Lucia because Lucia is named after one of her books. And I met her at a signing and she said, please send me a picture of Lucia. I sent her one and she wrote me back. She's like, now that's a cat. And then she sent me a picture of her cat, Smokey. And she's the coolest girl ever. She's Italian. And I love her. And so I found this for a buck. I'm going to get it for my, I got two. I got one for my sister, one for me. The Supreme Macaroni Company. And she's just, I just love her. Anyway, for a buck. I mean, you can't beat it. You just can't beat it. Peeny, please get away from the camera. And then I got this, Me Who Dove Into the Heart of the World by Sabina Berman. And I just really love the book. It's just a, like the, the, the whole cover just attracted me. And it's about a girl that has autism. And so I'm excited to get into this. And um, this seems like it's pretty short. Yeah, it's only like 240 pages or something. Yeah, that's nothing to me. This other one was over 600. Okay, now we're going to get into fun. <laughs> this is some of the things I've been doing for fun. So um, I love to do these coloring books. So um, I just got this one at... I want to say Michael's. Yeah, Michael's. And then, of course, some cat ones. I haven't, I haven't colored in these yet. And I, my first one was a cat one. That's in my bedroom. But this one, I just loved it. I really love this one, guys. Like, look, at that's the tea time. I'm not finished, but I just really loved it. And there's they're like smaller pictures than it seems like. There's not a lot of detail because you could go crazy with some of these, you know. But these, it's adorable. Adorable. And then this is so cute. I want to show you this. Um... This is really nice too, because you know you're not you don't have to be in a hurry. And you just, you know, you just scribble every once in a while. This really caught my eye because my stepdaughter, I actually bought her one of these books too. Um, she has a bike out front of her house, okay, with flowers in it. And then her brother made a sign that says enjoy the ride. So that was like the first one she did when I sent it to her and she sent me pictures. So anyway, I thought that was really cute. And now let's see. So here's some of my favorite like containers, okay? So this little cat's thing, it's perfect. I have a big one too. I, I might have shown it in a video before. It's a big boxy thing that I carry all my stuff to Ella's in because you know, she's gotta have brown toast and she's gotta have this and she's gotta have that. So anyway, I take a big bag there. So this I, I, I got um, in Colorado at a cat um, cafe. I saw this, I was like, what? Cause I never saw this on their website. It's called Blue Q is their website. And this stuff is great on there. It's so much fun. So what I do is I just stick my phone in here and seal it up and then stick it in the bag, you know, to take to the kid's house. And uh, it just protects my phone. Because sometimes I have, you know, I always have a water bottle or something. I just, it just protects my phone. And I am really, I'm kind of clumsy and I'm kind of like, eh, always in a hurry. And um, so this little basket came from Globe Inn, which is a subscription service. Or you could buy the basket by itself. And I just love these baskets. It's artisan basket. This was handmade in Oaxaca. And it's like fair trade stuff. And so I just keep my little tea lights in there that I put in my warmer. 
I have the kind of warmer you plug into, but the one in my bedroom is not that kind. And it just like it sits on my dresser right next to my warmer, and there it is, you know. And since you're here, you're gonna say hi. You're gonna say hi. This is Lucia. Yeah. Are you pretty? Are you mommy's baby? She's my pretty little girl. Okay, baby. Um, so anyway, so that's another thing I want. Speaking of warmer and wax and stuff, I just want to show you two of my favorite vendors, okay, for wax and stuff. Now this right here was full to the brim. This is from Candles from the Keeping Room. And you can join up on Facebook, and then she'll tell you when she's going to have her opening. And it's like a race to get what you want. And it, it's kind of fun. It's kind of depressing because I've never gotten a strawberry thing that I've wanted, and I still can't get it. But anyway, so this is what she, I mean, that's just the, the sample she gave me. It was full to the brim of samples. I mean, she's just, she's an amazing lady. But anyway, I'll get into, I mean, I could do a whole other video on her. But just to let you know, it's uh, candles from the keeping room. And then this other one is Wax House Melts. And she's on Facebook too. And, you know, has her own account, uh, her own uh, website too. And this one, everything I've gotten on these, the two I got, it's all cotton candy based. So it's cotton candy. And it was like, she does like themes and like, this was friends. So they got like funny names like, um, uh, cotton candy Twinkies. I don't know what Twinkies has to do with them, but, um, yeah, maybe these don't really have any weird names. Some of them do. Oh, cotton candy frosting. No, I guess they don't really have names. Some of her stuff does, but I guess these don't. But anyway, I digress. But just really nice things. I mean, this was a sample from Candles from the Keeping Room. That's a sample. I mean, just... They're just adorable. Look at the little sprinkles. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So anyway, that's another favorite of mine. I got two more sets of favorites. Okay. Favorite things I've gotten for review. This is a strainer. This is perfect, okay? It's not like I, sometimes I need a really big strainer, you know, for what, if I have more people over or something. Ooh, it's still wet. <laughs> but anyway, look at this strainer. This is awesome. And the ends have a little, like, lippies on them so that you know your water isn't just like squished to the inside like if you put it on your sink and inside your sink and pour your pasta in there or whatever you're, you're draining and then it just goes like this i mean this thing is like yeah i'm so excited about this thing it's a little things get me very excited and then this is very different um it was just like little spoons little delicate little spoons and so I just thought it'd be cute. There's a whole bunch of them. I just thought it'd be really cute for me to get this. I think it was like a dollar fifty or something. And then like maybe attach it to gifts and stuff like that. Because I mean they could use it in their sugar bowl or something. It's not much sugar, but because it's not very deep. But anyway, I just thought they were really cute. Sometimes that's why I get things for review, just to add them to something. Okay, now the most important thing, food. Okay, so these are my favorite snacks recently. This skinny pop dusted dark chocolate popcorn is so good so good um the fact that i haven't opened it yay me okay so 43 calories per cup non-gmo gluten-free blah 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 so good guys if you haven't tried it please try it now this is called a take five bar and i just bought a bag of little ones and um it's pretzels peanut butter caramel and peanuts it was it's five layers and then it's milk chocolate on top and kroger had it like a free friday freebie one day like a bigger one I fell in love. So good. I mean, pretzels and chocolate mm, and peanut butter. Ah, it's so good. Anyway, and then last but not least is the Sheila G's Brownie Biddle, Brittle. Now, um, I just got a whole bunch of coupons for this for a dollar off each one. And so, um, and at the same time, they were a dollar off on Ibotta, which is a, a money saving app. Get on your phone. So you can go to their website, I think, and you can request some some coupons because I requested it like through Facebook or something but um anyway so I think that'd be a good idea for you guys to try it's so good and if you haven't already tried it and then there's the salted caramel I think is my favorite so far and so that's my video and so now I have another favorite that I've been I've only gone twice but I'm getting to be like very excited about it and um so I went thrifting and I never do that uh because I walk in there and I'm like I don't know you know and so my friend Allie does it. It's Allie Ryan is her, her uh, channel. And she does. But she's so tiny and she just finds the cutest stuff and she looks good in anything, you know. 
But anyway, um, so what I've been doing is I've been obsessing over watching the videos. And um, it just it gives you like motivation to want to go do it. And so I've gone twice and I've gotten several things and I'm going to go today and I'm going to keep doing this for a while and um, I'm going to like do videos on it. I mean, it's, it, it really makes sense because I mean, I got a shirt from Banana Republic for $2. I got a tank, a dressy tank top from Talbot's for like $1.50 and I got a bunch of books for the kids. I mean, you just can't, you can't beat it really. I mean, you know how expensive those books are? And like the kids, they, they chew them, they kick them around and rip the covers off, you know. I mean, just, and especially kids' clothes. I know Amy, my stepdaughter, has gotten some clothes for um, Sierra there with like, the tags are still on. They're in perfect condition. So anyway, I don't like the smell in there. Though. I really have a hard time with the smell. Ah. But anyway, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Hi, Teddy. Hi. Do you want to be on camera? Do you want to be on camera? Teddy's 24 pounds of love. And um, he's come out apparently from the closet to see what I'm doing. Hi, buddy. He likes to sleep in my closet. Hi. Hi, would you like everyone to see you too? Oh, he's a big boy. This is Teddy. He used to live at David's office. I got him for David's office. And um, when David closed everything down, he came to live with us. And uh, it's been interesting to say the least, okay? Interesting. Um, so anyway, guys, I've missed you guys. I've really missed you guys. And like, I'm really excited that I just filmed. Yay. Okay, guys. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. And I think about you guys constantly and I just thank you. I've gotten some new subscribers and I appreciate it so much. And thank you so much for my subscribers that have been with me because y'all are the bomb. And I know like my people, cause they just, they always comment on my videos. They're the best. So, um, guys take care of one another. Ciao.